Hey, we have here today another integral on the board. We have the integral of dx over x squared plus one over x squared. Okay, my first thought right away was maybe I could just multiply an x squared in here, and then we'd have an x to the fourth plus one in the denominator, and that would work out fine that way. But what I was thinking about particularly was a trick that I've used in the past, where what I wanna do is make use of this x squared plus one over x squared type of thing. What I can notice about this is if I take x plus one over x and square it, Multiplying that out, we get x squared plus one over x squared, which is this, but then we have a plus two. And then very similarly, we can look at x minus one over x. When we square that, we get something very similar, but now we get a minus two here. But just rearranging these two equations, that's gonna allow me to write this denominator in two different ways. It's just solving for this piece here. I can write our denominator as x plus one over x squared minus two, or we can also write it as x plus one over x squared plus two. Sorry, I meant to write a minus right here. The reason I'm trying to do this is if we can get it into this form, then we can like use our arctan or other common formulas for integrals. But if we do this, we're gonna need a u substitution for like each of these values. So let's see what happens when I do that. Like if I have, if we have this set up and let's say we call our u equal to x plus one over x, then taking the derivative, our du value for this is gonna be one minus one over x squared dx. And then really similar, let's just use a separate, another variable, let's say v is gonna be this piece. So if I do like a v substitution for x minus one over x, when I take my derivative, we end up with one plus, just changes the sign, one over x squared dx. And so what I wanna use is we have these two different derivative values, but notice if I, if I take these together and just, add, if I take these and add them together, well, this, these terms cancel out and we just end up with two. So this is kind of a long story, but this is kind of explaining what I'm gonna to try to do here because what we're gonna do is manipulate in the numerator, I'm gonna use this and write this out like one plus one over x squared plus one minus one over x squared. And the only problem with that is it's not a one anymore, it's a two, but I can just multiply by a half out front so I'm not changing it. And then we'll just have this same, we'll leave our denominator and we'll have a dx. Okay, now at this point, now that we get this more complicated numerator going on, what I can do is split this into two integrals. So let's do that really quick. And so in the first one we'll have in our numerator, we'll have one plus one over x squared dx. And then in this second one, we'll still have a half in front and we're gonna have one minus one over x squared dx. So of course we're gonna have the same denominator for each, but I'm just gonna write it differently in order to use this derivative. So what we found from the previous board is I can write, for this one, I can write this as x minus one over x, all squared, and then we can add two. And that way you'll notice that this piece right here is our v value, and this piece is our dv. And then just doing it with a different sign over here, this one's gonna be x plus one over x squared, and then we have to subtract two. And again, this is gonna be our u that we already did. And then our numerator is gonna be our du right there. So let's just make the substitution so it's really clear. So in the numerator, we're gonna have dv, v squared. For two, I'm gonna write this as square root of two squared. And then similarly over here, we're gonna have in the second one, we're gonna have du over u squared minus square root of two squared. But from here, we have formulas for each of these integrals because they're common integrals, and we have the formulas down here. So for this positive case, this is just our arctan formula that we have right here. And for the negative case, we've got a really similar formula, but for just for the hyperbolic inverse tangent function. So in each case, our a value is gonna be just the square root of two, so we can make use of this. So I'm gonna write, we'll have our one half out front, and then I'm gonna bring out the, um, so then for our a value here, it's gonna be square root of two. We'll have our inverse tangent, Instead of x, we're gonna have v over square root of two. And then here it's gonna be minus one over two square root of two. The minus sign coming from right there. And then we're gonna have our hyperbolic inverse tangent. And this is gonna be u over square root of two. And now we can back substitute, but actually what I'm gonna do first is just simplify. So for like u, I'll get a common denominator and write this as x squared plus one over x. Then for v doing the same thing, we can write this as x squared minus one over x. So now we can back substitute. And so here we're gonna have one over two square root of two. Arctan, our v value is gonna be x squared minus one. Keep my square root of two. 
minus 1 over 2 square root of 2 tanch inverse our u value which is going to be x squared plus 1 over square root of 2. I'll put a plus c on the end squeeze it in there and that's it. Okay thanks everyone for watching today have a great day.